I'm Dr. George Flynn and you're watching In-Depth TV where today we're going to discuss your environment. And a lot of people, when we talk about environment, we talk about the climate, we talk about uh, air pollution, but we're going to talk about your personal environment. You've got things you want to do. <clears throat> you need to be in an environment where you can do those things. Let's say you'd like to write a letter to someone every day. Well, the best thing to do is have an environment where you can do that, like a table, a paper, a pen, envelope, and stamps if you're going to mail the letter. If you have all of those things together, that's your environment. You've got all the materials you need to, to have you, you can't procrastinate and say, I can't do it because I don't have a piece of paper. I don't have a pen. I don't have a sharpened pencil. No, you create your environment so that you can progress with what you want to do. Let's say you would like to attain your ideal weight. Notice I didn't say lose weight. You don't want to lose things. You want to attain your ideal weight. And if you'd like to drop a few pounds, then <clears throat> you need to be in an environment where you do that. Well, what's the environment? Well, you can uh, have a gym. You can join a gym. You can uh, figure out a way to work out. You can develop that environment. You can come up with some barbells or dumbbells or whatever you call them to, to be able to lift weights. You can develop that environment because if you don't have those things, if you don't have that membership to a swimming club or, or a gym, or if you don't have access to it, it's going to be hard to exercise. But if you do have it, and there are plenty of places around, community centers, we're not talking about spending money, though you can spend a lot of money, but we're not, you don't have to necessarily. There are plenty of community centers that will, that have gyms, that have exercise classes even. So if you'd like to exercise, join one of the classes. And I would suggest that you have some exercise uh, accountable partner that will hold you to it because if you're going to go for a walk around the block or walk, walk the mall or do whatever you want to do, having an accountability partner saying, let's go do it, you're much more likely to do it than if you just see the alarm clock go off and say, I don't know if I feel like it today. It's too cold outside. It's too hot outside. It's raining. It's too, too much sun. You can come up with an excuse, but if you have that accountability partner, that's a good environment. And you don't want an accountability partner that says, oh, let's not do anything today. You want someone to say, oh, let's go get them. And if they're not in the mood to say, let's go get them, you need to per be the person to motivate them and hold them accountable because it works both ways. What else can you do in your environment? Let, this is just an example of something that you might be able to do to assist yourself. Let's say we're back on the losing, or no, attaining some your ideal weight. We talk about losing weight or attaining weight. It's okay. I just like to keep it on the positive if we can. What, what else would you do? Well, we all know that it's exercise and diet. That's true exercise and diet. Now you can go online or you can get a diet book or you can look, you can talk to other people about their diets and there are plenty of diets out there. The diet is not the important thing. The important thing is getting on the diet and staying on the diet. Plenty of them out there. The South Beach diet, the uh, the Weight Watchers diet, the Nutri-Slim, Nutri-Fast, Nutri-Systems diet. There are all kinds of diets. The keto diet. 
the Atkins diet. The, the, you know, you can have any kind of diet in the world. The DASH diet, the, you name it. Pick the diet that you want, but the key to it is to get on it and stay on it. How else, what else can you do? You say, well, I've got my diet and I've got my exercise. No, 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 you're just beginning. What you say is, I'm going to the grocery store and get the foods that are on the diet and not any other foods. And you say, that's great. I can do that. But before you do that, you need to go to your refrigerator and your freezer and your cabinets and clean out all of the junk food. Yes, I said it. All of the junk food has got to go. Now you can pack it up, box it up. If it's, if it's not opened, you can give it away. If it's opened, let's just throw it away. And I hate to throw away things. I'm not one to want to throw anything away. But this is necessary because when you get hungry, I want you to have the choice of healthy foods, not junk foods. And if the junk foods aren't there and they're hard to find and they're, you've got to go out in the cold or the heat to one of the convenience stores and get you probably won't do it. You'll eat the healthy alternative, a carrot or a, you, I, you pick it, whatever's on your diet. And you get that and you stock your refrigerator and your freezer and your cabinets with healthy food <clears throat> rather than junk food. Remember, we've thrown away all the junk food. Now, I know what you're going to do. You're going to say, I better keep this just in case. No, I mean take that item too and get rid of it. No hiding junk food. Let's get rid of that so that you will have the choice of healthy foods. So healthy foods, we've got healthy foods, <clears throat> we've got a diet. Now we have to have other people that are willing to help us on this quest for the, our ideal weight. And I would suggest that you do one other thing and you've got to have it ready. Weigh every morning, same time every morning. And that way, as you see your weight drop, you're rewarded. You get this mental reward. Oh, I may have gone through it and I surely miss that candy bar or I miss that this, but look at my weight. I'm getting it where I want it to go. So you're going through the withdrawal from the high carbs and the high sugars and the whatever it is you're withdrawing from. Now you've got the positive. So it can't all be negative. You got to have some positive reinforcement to get to what you want to do. All right, say, let's say you want to have more, more time for your family. <clears throat> how do we get away, how do we get rid of these distractions? What is taking up your time? Well, several things are probably taking up your time, not one of which is online. You may be watching videos all day. You may be online on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all of the different platforms, YouTube, videos take up so much time, and Netflix. Okay, what do you do? You say, well, they're, they're, on, they're on there. I'll take a deep breath before I tell you this. Delete the app. I, yeah, I said it, delete the app. You want your time back? You want your personal time back? Delete the apps. Use your telephone for a telephone. If you've got to email someone on it, go ahead. I see so many people 
in, say in an elevator or say anywhere, <clears throat> they're sitting there, they're on their phone. No one's making personal contact anymore. No one's saying, hello, how are you doing? How's your day? Have a good day, goodbye. Everyone's on their phone. I'll see people at a dinner table, you know, a family. They're all, the kids are watching videos. The parents are sitting there checking Facebook and texting and do, I mean, I, I sit there in dismay watching it. Everybody seems preoccupied with something else. If you want your time back, it's, this is going to be, you know, probably radical for you. Take your device and put it down. Better yet, turn it off. And I know you say, well, I can't turn it off. I, I, I just, I, I'm, I need to be available. You can turn it off, just try 30 minutes. See how nice it is. See how much more you get done. See, especially if you're with your family. Turn it off 30 minutes. Then the next time, try turning it off 45 minutes. Then we'll get all the way up to an hour. Yes, an hour with that device turned off. Turn to the point that you can focus on your family. We're cutting out these distractions. These distractions that help you get distracted from who you're supposed to be with the people in your life that are the most important. Has this device kind of thing become more important than people in your life? Well, it shouldn't. But we see so many people that say, hold on just a minute, I've, I've got to finish this text. I've got to finish this email. I've got to... No, you don't. You really don't. Why have we gotten to the point that this distraction is so important that we cannot pay attention to the people that are within two or three feet of us? And it is, it is a, you can use this as a way to bring people together. You can watch things together, you can do things together, but it's best for you to have verbal interaction with the people, you know, you can do so better, so much better face to face than clicking place to place. You need to be face to face with people. And this, these, all the devices are just distractions. I use them too. And they, you want to use them. This is the key. You want to use these devices, these tablets, these computers, this internet. You want to use it, not have it use you. Once, you. once you make that shift of you're using it, when you want to use it, not having it use you and keep you glued to it just to see what breaking news is about who painted their fingernails a different color, then you can absolutely use the device, the internet, to your best interest, to your family's best interest. And we want to remove these distractions from your life so that you can live your life and not live someone else's life, you know, in absentia, we'll call it. You don't, you don't, you want to, you, you've got this life. It's yours. You need to live it for yourself and your family. I'm Dr. George Flynn. You've been watching. <laughs>